Mike, this looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. Yes, it does. It's got all these different uh, dimensions. All and these. If you, you look at the nails and the edge of the shoe and the screws and the block and all that, what would you call those materials as far as shooting an X-ray through it? Is that radio opaque? I think it would be. Well, there you go. So why do we have this radiograph up, uh, and why are we discussing it? Well, this was one that was sent to me by my friend Billy. Okay. And uh, do you want to go to the other one first? We can go to the other All one. All right. First. So here's the actual foot that we're looking at here. So what I'm looking at here to describe all the people listening to us on the streaming service, it looks like the front of the hoof has completely ripped off. It's of, kind of not where it's supposed to be. It looks like it's cracked off. Like if you've ever split your fingernail in the front, you're right. like, oh. This is, this is one that he was called on to manage the situation and get it back under control. Okay. Which he will do a fine job of. And, uh, but, you know, I don't know if this foot had been in the wet a lot or what's going on. It looks like somebody had put a little plastic in there, uh, urethane or whatever. Right there? Right there. Yeah. But the, you know, the hoof wall condition is not good. And, you know, you see several places there's separations and stuff is blown out. And if you take that big separation and in the front and kind of trace a line around towards the back so there's separation there's separation i don't know if that all happened at the same time or what it kind of makes me think maybe the horse was standing in a swamp and also notice the growth rings are wider at the back of the foot than the front now looking at this i'm going to go to the x-ray now and right. th this is what i'm going to this is my expert opinion for what mm -hmm. it's what it's worth right so i'm looking here and i'm looking at the coffin bone and the coffin bone tip it's probably it's right where that separation happened in the hoof. So it's almost like you've snapped the end of the hoof off because the coffin bone isn't in it or underneath it enough to support it. Right. And if you look at that green line that is that is drawn in there, uh, and that's a fairly you know, consistent line. Well, it's a very consistent line from top to bottom. And I think they've got it lined up where on your upper and lower HL zones, you're the same measurement where the line comes through.